Hi, good morning, viewer. This is Dr. Jana, and you are watching the video with me on Briac and Node.js. Uh, I already promised you that we will be going for these type of things. Uh, the main thing is that while we are going for this uh, type of front end, uh, the present trends is that most of the websites they are uh, shifting to React.js. So, what is this React JavaScript and uh, what type of things are there? Uh, so, all these things, the theory part I will cover in maybe one less than one or two minutes. Then we will go for what are the required software for these things how to install and how to run our first program and how to go for some important applications on that one. So coming to this React.js or the React JavaScript, it is a JavaScript library and you know clearly the difference between a library and a framework. Uh, wherever this AngularJS it is a framework, this React.js is a JavaScript library and it is one of the most popular JavaScript library that you will be happy to know that and it is used to make single page applications why we are going for creating some applications for creating single page applications we can use this React JS. and it builds reusable user interface components and angular JS is a framework what I already told you and it was uh, this uh, React JS it was developed by Facebook in 2002 and it is the first time interactive so it is dynamic part when you are to uh, planning to design some dynamic website uh, I, th I think it is the best thing you can use it now whatever the features you are using javascript now most of the uh, people who already developed they are switching to uh, react js okay so this uh, talking about this component it is also a piece of user interface and it is used to build the applications and the complex user interfaces also you can uh, while you are going for will be using different components that means entire page will be split up into different components for example we can have the heading, we can have the left hand side, we can have the middle, we can have the bottom but the first of the thing we take it as a complex uh, because uh, these are all modular and it can be uh, built on one and one above one other so we call it as the <coughs> reusable components okay this is the pure object oriented concept is implemented here and in react at least one component will be there at least one component no react is possible without the component and this initial uh, the beginning component we call it as also the root component right and we can split uh, page to component apps and we are using some standards like ES5 and ES6 and at present we all are switching to ES6 so this is the JavaScript standards okay so for this what we need to do uh, we have to go for this node.js okay for going for this node.js uh, because what the software you need you need the software node.js node okay so just you type it here into google uh, node.js okay for ty typing for download or node.js try to type it yeah, you come and enter there. Uh, you will find that uh, we are having two options with you uh, because I am using the Windows operating system and my version is Windows X64. Uh, you can see two things are there. What recommended for you uh, that is Node.js 16.13.2 LDS. That is the long term support is there. But uh, there is also a latest features that is 70. Don't go for this current features because some box will be there and not sorted out. So always you go for the recommended for the next that is 16.13. 3.2 LTS. So what you need to do? Just double click and download. Once we download, you try to install it here. Okay. So I'll show you where it is download. It's easy to be downloaded in the download folder. It will be there by default. And by double clicking, it will be installed. So by default, it will be uh, installed in C user users like that. But I have some restriction. I want to put everything in the D drive. So I created a folder D. In that D folder D drive, I created a folder Node.js and I installed everything. Right. So once you install everything. Uh, then I think your Node.js is installed. Uh, now Node.js is installed not you can also check all things. Say I click it here and I go for this cmd, command prompt cmd. Once you enter it here you can see it here. Suppose I want to go to the D drive, D shift enter, colon enter and now you are in D drive. Okay. Now if you want to check the uh, directory, you know in the Windows system which we are using DIR or in the, if you are using Mac or Linux you can use this side. So DIR, so once you enter it here. Can you see I have a folder like Node.js? Okay. So in this Node.js folder, I have already created everything, right? So now if I want to check it whether Node is installed or not properly, what you need to do? Type Node space hyphen T. Uh, you can see the version. Yes, exactly the version we installed that is V16.13.1. Okay, this is the version I have shown you already. We have uh, installed along with that npm also the package manager because we have to install some other things. So if you want to check npm is installed or not, npm uh, space uh, hyphen v just i want to check the version also you can see the version it was not the this version installed 
but I already updated to 8.3.0. Okay, so yeah, you can see here 8.3.0. This is the latest version of the NPM, also it is installed. Fine. So if everything is fine, then you have installed uh, uh, Node.js. Okay, now what are the things you need to do? Uh, you have to go for uh, the React. You have to go for the uh, React. How do you go for this React? For going for this React, so you have two options. Either you can put everything in the date drive or you create a folder. How you create a folder in the drive? So you write the command mkdir uh, space. By the folder name you create, suppose I want to create uh, React projects. So R E A C T React projects P R O J E C T S, right? So once you enter, uh, uh, it is created, okay? So once it is created, then you go to CD. Uh, that means already the directory is created. You want to change the directory, so cd then uh, space uh, react. This is the things you know projects b r o j e c t s. Fine. So, this is the folder you created inside the D drive. Now, you are entering the data. Now, already you are there. Fine. So, once you are there, now initially nothing will be there in this project folder because you just created a, a new one. Now, what you are going to do, I want to install. Uh, the create a React app. Create a React app. How do you create this? Uh, go for this uh, create React app. So you have a command that is npx. What is that command? npx space create c r e a t create hyphen react r e s t react hyphen app. Okay. So what I did? What is the command I used? npx space create hyphen react hyphen app. And uh, I want to create a particular uh, project for me. Name also I give it the same React app. Okay, R E A C T React hyphen app. You can put my app. You can anything you put it. There is no necessary that you take a compound word with hyphen. I for my convenient I put it right React app. You can put it my app. You can put VVC app. You can put any name of your choice. Fine. So once you created, you got it now. So now a folder is created with these things. Now, if you created this folder, that is not an ordinary folder, but you created a React app here using all the things. It takes some time. It will be installing all the necessary things for you. Once it is installed and once it is configured, then you will find it will suggest you to start these things. Okay. So for starting, what you do? Now, now, now once you created, then where you have to go? You have to go to the. Uh, now you check what are the directory created. Dir. Once you created, you check it here. You are having React app, so you have to go to the CD hyphen uh, CD hyphen React R E A C T React hyphen A P P. So while you are there inside the CD, you can see now inside the D drive, inside the React projects, you created this React app now. Inside this, I want to start this one. How to start that one? You start npm start npm space S T A R P. Once you click it here, uh, can you see here it is running? Yeah, it is saying as 3, 2, 1, 0, and boom, you can see one browser will be opening, and in that browser, you can clearly see it will be running successfully. It takes some time because it is the first time while it is running. Uh, yes, it will take some time, uh, but once it is over, the next time onwards, you will find it is very fast and very easy and easy also. So now you can see uh, within a couple of minutes, I, I think don't take it more than uh, one minute. So then we will find a browser will open. In that browser, you can clearly see your React is running. Yeah, yes, it is running. Yeah, 3, 2, 1, 0, and opens. Fine. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. So this is the thing I already react. I already changed all the things, but actually it will not come like that. It will come one band like it will come black color. And the React logo, you know that elliptical path it will be running like that. I already modified this thing, that's why it is coming something different. So you can see uh, I'll show you one more time. I'll uh, start from the beginning that I'll show you that one strip of black uh, strip will come, there a logo will come, react it is rotating just like the solar system, and below that is some modify something like that, some leak already coming. So this is the first thing, the first time you configured you installed and started this React program, the next program immediately will start after this. For that, what I need you please, if you watch this video, if you like this video, please do share with your friends and also don't forget to uh, give a like to this one also. 
so the next video will meet and we'll go for how to write small programs or fast program, uh, then how to create these components, how to create this page, and how to create all the things. Thank you, take care, and uh, happy Pongal uh, and Nokasangrati to all of you, and also direct viewer, and wish all the best, take care, friends, bye, goodbye.